I'm there. Raise five. Fold. So what is it? Nobody's sitting in this chair? I don't get a chance to bet. Well, sorry, Arnie. You in? I fold. Arnie, you're a goof. You know that. I love you too, Joey, baby. Do you get... Hey, kid, you in, you out. Sorry. I'm out. Phil? Looks like it's just you and me, Doc. I think I'm just gonna call. Aces? Fives. How about you? Give me another 10, Joey, will you? Sure. 10 for the doc, Gino. Screw around, or are you gonna deal? I think I'll screw around. <laughs> well, come on, guys. Whose birthday is it? Mine. Nobody moves. Put the money in here. All of it. First, you realize this means we won't be inviting you back. Shut up, honey. You don't know who you're dealing with, kid. Cut! A nice, friendly Saturday night poker game. Some nights, the cards don't go your way. And sometimes you draw to an inside straight. A stockbroker, a film producer, and a hired goon. Definitely the night's big losers. Totally wiped out. And two others down a bundle. But at least they're still in the game. Great necklace. Out of the cake. You got it. Got five players, one guard for the money, three here, two still at the hospital, and the lucky guy who ran off with the money. Whichever the other two guys in. 
Well, one might not make it. The other guy took a round in the cat. He's a doctor, and it was a damn good thing, too, because he was still giving the kid first aid when I got here. You got this guy's name? Yeah, Dr. Paul Benton. Right. Says he just went for a drink, and all of a sudden, the new guy's holding a machine gun, guard pulls the Beretta, fireworks start. OK, thanks. I'm going to see how they're doing. Does machine gunner have a name? No, it was his first time. Ben didn't catch it. All right, somebody deliver the cake. We ought to have a little chat with room service, right? Oh, I can save you the trip. Room service hasn't been up all evening. We found this in the staircase. Someone pulled in a ringer. All right, well, maybe he knew his way around the place, so check to see who wasn't working tonight and have Colby get a list of the previously employed. Start tracking that down. Okay. Ever wish you were in a different kind of work? Well, I covered football once. Too violent. Somebody's sure a bad loser. Took a lot of trouble planning this thing. Why not? Maybe there was enough money on the table to buy a third world country. Yeah, but why blow everybody away? If you hadn't used a gun, we'd never been called. Yeah, looks like he started shooting right about a year. Uh, Kevin, let's take a look at this. Looks like it's from the Beretta. It is. Who are you? Christine Meadows, forensics. You been with the department long? Of course, if you want to be 100% sure that it's from the Beretta, I can get you the ballistics report as soon as it's ready. Oh, I'd appreciate that. Detective? Uh, Frank. Like lightning. Detective Frank? <clears throat> uh, Jambone, uh, it's Mid-South. Maybe you and I should get together and go over this stuff. Yes, sir, that's what you think. So how'd that slug get there? Huh? Oh, uh, I think it ricocheted. Ricocheted. Catch up with you later, Tommy. You want that. We're gonna get a hold of that doctor. Frank, Obi, hold on a second. Guy at the hospital, his name is DeMonte. Antonio DeMonte? No, his son, Joey. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I wanna know about this. Don't we all? Let's go, Frank. All games have winners and losers. So where's tonight's big winner? How long's he gonna be able to stay ahead? Come on, come on, come on. Hey! Watch it. What do you think you're doing? Come on, come on. That's it. All right, now put it against the wall. Look out. Oh, sorry, Teddy. I didn't see you. One scotch coming up. Hey, you guys, you put a scratch on that baby, I'm gonna sick Teddy here on you. <laughs> but that's a joke, Kitty. Hey, you haven't said how beautiful my new jukebox is. Oh, yeah, it's real nice, Harry. What's with you? Nothing. It's the kid, isn't it? Yeah, that too. Nah, it should be all right. I guess. Sure, sure. Look, uh, I got lots to do. You be all right here? Yeah, I'll be okay. Anything you think of, you tell me. The cops don't need to know. You know, that was pretty smart. Her knowing the slug was from that Beretta. It's remarkable. Yeah. Mr. Damati? I'm sorry about your son. I appreciate that. You know we're going to want to talk with him. He ain't got nothing to say to you, Brian. Well, why don't we let him decide that? The boy's in surgery now, very critical. It'll be quite some time before he can answer any questions. What are you, his doctor? As a matter of fact, I am. What are you? My partner, Dr. Frank Davis Jambone. Please, Dr. Detective O'Brien, Dr. Benton, treats my family from time to time. Benton, you're Dr. Benton. How's your leg? Not too bad. Dr. We'd like to talk with you too, sir. Dr. Of course. Perhaps we'd be more comfortable in my office. I'll make sure you're notified the minute he gets out of surgery. I'll be right here. I don't know what I can tell you, gentlemen. I already told Detective uh, Carson, right? Dr. Bobot? Dr. Bobot to surgery. Although one of the wounded has been identified as Joey DeMonte. Hey, 24 turn it down, will you, Harry? I'm trying to hear this. Police refuse to speculate that the shooting is connected to organized crime. In other local news, environmentalists marched on City Hall today protesting the proposed site of the new waste disposal facility, stating that the city's drinking water could be contaminated. You have to listen to that idiot. Some idiot. Must have got away with a bundle, huh? <laughs> yeah. 
And if the DeMonte kid croaks, he won't live to spend a nickel. Uh. Now that's it. That's all you remember. It's all just a blur. I used to be amazed how seemingly intelligent people couldn't describe something they'd seen. Let me tell you, when you're looking down the barrel of a gun... Now, you were playing cards with this guy all night. You didn't get his name. Arnie kept calling him kid. I'm sure he introduced him when we got there. For the life of me, I can't remember. Now, Arnie brought him there. That's right. And how were they acting? I mean, did he seem nervous? Did it seem like a setup? Arnie's dead. He just invited the wrong guy. Listen, uh, you don't mind if we continue this some other time, dude. It hasn't exactly been the greatest day of my life. No, that's all right, Doctor. You've been a big help. Uh, if anything else occurs to you. Of course. Oh, Doctor, one more question. How much money did he get? Well, you know how it is. The boys get together for a few hands. We don't care about the gambling. We're investigating a multiple homicide. It was a lot. How much is a lot? I don't know for sure. Probably over 100,000. Thanks again. About one. That's what I thought, too. You lying bastard! I'll kill you! It's not true! Easy, easy, I'll find him! I'll find him! I'll find him! He killed my kid! You listen to me, Damani? Don't worry, I'll turn him over to you. One piece at a time. Kevin, I want that report on my desk. Wait a minute. Not off the press. Frank with ballistics. How long do you figure for prints? Hundreds of them, most of them partial. We'll be lucky if it's a week. By the time they check them against the victims, the hotel staff, previous guests. We'll be lucky if it's two weeks. What have you got on that room service guy? So far, I got 190 people who have worked there in the past year. What do you have, Stevie? 87 current who weren't on duty. And it could be a dead end. The guy might have just snuck in and taken a jacket. Then we better get lucky, because Damati wants them worse than we do. Yeah, and he has more guys on the case. Names and addresses of the players. And what makes me think I gotta go notify the families? Freddie, you find out anything you can. Somebody invited our trigger-happy friend to play. Maybe he said something to his wife. Widow. Sure now you guys wanna come with me? I didn't think so. Hi, Freddie. She was right about that slug. It was from the Verda. Certainly took your time. Mm. So was the one in the other wall. She said the rest came from the Uzi. And they're ready for us anytime. Let's go have a look. Who is she? Uh, Christine. Christine. <laughs> Express bus for Philadelphia, Baltimore, and Washington, leaving from gate 10. There's a great article on crocheting on page 20. For 250, it's all yours. Don't do that, man. Huh? Keep it down, Spindle. I didn't think you were going to show I said I would. Yeah, I know. It's just that after what happened. The guy took a shot at me, OK? Forget it. Forget it? I don't know anything about it. I'm telling you, I'm even too. Good. Don't miss the bus. Hold it. Not so fast. It's all there. Yeah? That was before you started shooting. That's all you get, Kenny. I'll see you later. Bus 721, leaving for Pittsburgh, Cleveland, and Chicago. Now boarding at gate 6B. Keep the change. Hey, you owe me another 50 cents. That's all you get. You don't return my calls. I'll have the money tomorrow. How come this sounds so familiar? All of it, tomorrow. Because it'd be hard to operate without any fingers, Doc. I swear, just till tomorrow. I'm taking a big risk here, Ben. I've gone way past my limit with you. I'm just going to arrange it now. Well, don't let me keep you. You understand everything's got to be perfect. I want flowers everywhere from the front door to the casket. Mr. Piemonte. What is it, Mike? 
we uh, located your friend? Good, I'll be with you in a minute. Make sure you have enough chairs. That's the last of them. You did this all by yourself? Well, I had a little help. It's very pretty. Give me a break. You understand that these aren't the precise trajectories. A lot of the slugs from the Uzi remained in the victims or were deflected. The first time he fired, he seems to have been right here. And then there was a second burst of firing that seems to have come from right here. And this one? This one must have been the Beretta. Right. Notice how it goes right by the first setup. Now, that seems to indicate that the bodyguard got off a shot with the Beretta and missed. Well, what about this one here? That one's got us completely stumped. How it got here is anybody's guess. The angle of entry tells us that it came from somewhere along this line. The Beretta's over there. I'm open to suggestions. Well, maybe a ricochet. It's a bullet, not a ping pong ball. It's something Dr. Benton never talked about. Let's go see him. One minute. Um, can we talk about this? Sir? The stuff. I mean, it's very... Significant? Um, Frank. Yeah, it's very, very, very significant. Well, I've got a couple of theories. Good, good. Listen, now, I'll pick you up tomorrow at 8. You never quit, do you? No guts, no glory. There's only so much we can do with medications. She's gonna need that transplant soon. Then she better get it. Do you have the money? When she's scheduled for surgery, don't play games, Keating. There are people bleeding down my neck. You better not turn around. Well, that's not quite to the point, is it? There are people ahead of her on the list. Fix it. You got enough clout around here for that, don't you? I told you I could arrange it. I will. The minute I see the money, you got it backwards, Doc. You schedule her for surgery or you don't see a penny. That jackpot's the only insurance my little girl's got. I'll do what I can. Tell me where Dr. Benton is? Yes, he's in there with the patient, room 305. Thank you. Dr. Roberts, call for Dr. Roberts, line 322. Dr. Benton? Ah, Detective O'Brien. I'll be right with you. What am I, chopped liver? What the hell are they doing here? It was a homicide, remember? I'll have everything arranged for Cindy by tomorrow. My nurse will have all the details. She damn well better. Let's go to my office. Daddy? Yeah, it's me, honey. It's me. still working after 8 p.m. deserves a little compensation. Care to join me? No, thanks. Surprised to see you back at work so soon. Well, that's one of the benefits of being a doctor. You can discharge yourself whenever you want. Now, what can I do for you, gentlemen? Now, you said that Gina was shot as he was going for his gun, right? That's right. But his gun was fired. Well, he may have gotten off a shot. It was also fast. I don't know. One shot? I, I think you're right. Uh, there were two shots. He fired twice. And no one else touched that gun? What's this all about? One of the bullets from that gun was fired from a different direction. You have any idea how that happened? None whatsoever. And no one else was in that room? And no one else picked up that gun? All right, let's stop here. There was a man shooting at me, and I'm not in the habit of being shot at. My account may not have been clear. It may have been garbled. But I told you all I know. Dr. Benton, we realize you're a close friend of Mr. DeMonte's. That's all I care to say, officers. Now, if you'll please leave. He told you not to talk to us, didn't he? Do I have to call security? Gun junkie fired. I don't know. 
I don't know. I don't know nothing else. You gotta believe me, man. <laughs> My instincts were right. What are you talking about? I knew DeMonte was the best part of this story. DeMonte, man of his word. Hey, Colby. Good morning. That's good about it. What do you got? Kenny Fender. He used to be a bellhop at the Regents. But he sure as hell not going to answer our questions now. I wonder if he answered DeMonte's. I trust everything meets with your approval. Who's this Dr. Stanton? He's one of the best surgeons on the staff. You've got nothing to worry about. Will you be there? I don't think my leg would hold up. It takes hours, Keating. I could postpone it if you want. Are you sure he's good? He's the best. Don't worry. And that reminds me, Dr. Stanton might need to reach you. Uh-uh. Keating, she's a minor. There are consents to be signed. All right, all right. Don't know how to reach me. But you make the call. I don't know this, Stanton. Understood. Now, why don't we complete our arrangement? I guess it turned out better for you this way, huh? What do you mean? Those friends of yours that died, how much did you owe them? Next time you're going for an inside straight. Thank you for coming. Thank you. God bless you. You looked very peaceful, Mr. Delonte. Thank you. How's the leg? Much better, thank you. Good, good. You wanted to see me? Uh, you've been thinking about what I told you? Let's talk. Uh, I want you to listen to me. I understand you owe my son some money. I can afford to pay him. But, uh... You're an honorable man, doctor. I know you don't want to get involved in these things. So if you tell me what I want to know, then you don't owe me or my family a thing. I don't know his name. He wore a ring. It had TK on it. And he joked with Arnie about a bar they hung out in. They called it Harry's. You told this to the police? I didn't tell the police a thing. Excuse me, Mr. DeMonte? There's cops outside. You've done the right thing, Doctor. Let me handle it, Frankie. We go back away. What the hell are you doing here, O'Brien? Don't you even have any respect for the dead? For the living, too, Damani. Found spindled in the garbage where you dumped him. Never heard of him. You got any charges to make? Talk to my lawyer. Now get out of here. Now, wait a minute. We're both looking for the same man, right? Now, let me...
me tell you something. If anything happens to him before we find him, I'm gonna come knocking on your door. First an accusation, now a threat. What's next? A promise whoever killed your son will be brought to justice. Don't tell me about justice. I've been buying it my whole life. But I'll make you a promise. The filth that killed my boy is gonna die. You do what you have to about that, O'Brien. Now get out of here. You want to take that? Wait a minute, Frankie. His son died. I want that TK, Mike. I want him tonight. You got him. You see, it's all right here. One of the most fascinating aspects about this mystery bullet is the height of its trajectory. You see, right here, this is where it's at its highest possible point, and this is only three feet off the ground. Now, there are a number of possible conclusions, and we have to examine them one at a time. Let's see, what could they be? It could have been fired by a very short person. Now, I know that doesn't sound likely, but let's not reject it. Let's just put it aside for the time being. It could have been fired by someone lying on the floor. Mm -hmm. That sounds more interesting. No, 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 wait a minute. In that scenario, the bullet would have had to have an upward trajectory, and this one was definitely pointing down. Mm. So, where does that leave us? How about with a couple of beers? Yeah, how about if we take a break? Uh, maybe have a glass of wine, relax a little? We're just getting started. I'll have a beer. One beer, then? Mm -hmm. You drink when you're on duty? It's just a beer. I'm not on duty. We're working. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, we're working. Board game? If it added about an hour, I think Frankie's losing. Something to do with your new case. All right. <laughs> what are you two sniggering about? I never snicker. You seriously think he's talking police business with a woman who looks like that? Why not? <laughs> because he's Frank. Stop snickering. <laughs> Listen, when I get back to my table, I want you to wait a second or two and then make like we got a call in emergency. What's the problem? It's nothing. Is that too complicated or something? No, I want to help you out. I just want to know why I'm doing it. You got a fire alarm? Maybe you can pull it. No, 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 that's that's crazy. How about paging me? Can you page me? Well, I'd like to help you out too, Frankie, but I don't know why I'm doing it. Well, take a look. You just take a look. It's all bullets and, and machine gun and, and strings and, and Beretta. I mean, she's like a robot. I mean, you just wind her up, you watch her go. Well, I would have thought that, that that was what you found so intriguing about her, that that was why you asked her out. No, she asked me out. Wrong. Listen, it's all business with her. I mean, you know, that's all we talk about on this date. I mean, if I wanted to date somebody about business, I'd date Kevin. I'm off duty. Oh, no, no, just don't. Let me get this straight. So, just because she wants to talk about something a little more interesting than the color of your eyes, you want us to help you stand her up? She is a girl. I am a boy. I mean, if one of you wants to explain that to her, fine. If not, could you please get me out of here? That is the most chauvinistic. I happen to be a very liberated. Yeah, he is very liberated. He wants to go to bed with her, and she has every equal right not to go to bed with him. I'm gonna get you for this. I'm gonna get all three of you, especially you. What? There's another couple of possibilities I think we ought to explore. The trajectory and the location of the slug on the floor seems to indicate the location of the gun on the floor. Oh, wait a minute. That couldn't be right. I'm sorry, you must think I'm terribly silly. Silly? Frankie, got a call. Let's move it. Oh, damn. Look, uh, no telling how long this is gonna take, so don't wait for me. Oh, oh, that's okay. Look, I can work out some of these details while you're gone.
you doing in here? Someone's gonna see you. What's up? What's up? Everybody's talking about the job you pulled. The Monty's people are out looking for you. Where did you hear that? It's all over town. There's a price on your head, ten grand. And there isn't anybody in this joint that wouldn't turn you in for that money. All right, all right. Listen, Harry, can you put me up for a while? You're kidding. You got the money. Get out of town. I can't. They're after you. They're gonna kill you. No, I can't. Okay. Okay. But there's too many people around. Come back later. I'll leave the back door open. Eddie, why did you do it? It's not your style. I got my reasons. I'll be back. Maybe something like this once. But that was due to an error in figuring a trajectory due to a tumbling bullet. But in this case, well, you can pretty well eliminate that possibility since... Excuse me. He calls. Whatever you do, don't mention my name. Is she still there? Yes. Just tell her Kevin called and we'll, we'll be on the case all night. I have been on the case all night. I have been on the case ever since you left. I have a whole museum of police science spread across my bar. And if I hear the word trajectory one more time, I'm going to scream. Now listen, Frank Jambone, you made your bed, and you better figure out some way to lie in it. That is the most chauvinistic, medieval, unliberating. Nicole, you see this? Right here, right along this trajectory. Portraits done here. Get your portraits done. Four bucks. Get lifelike, madam. How about it? Sir, how about it? You look like Tom Selleck. Don't you want that on paper, huh? A lifelike portrait, sir. Four bucks. Yeah, you look like Mr. Clean. Madam, how about you? How about a lifelike portrait? Hey, 20 Picasso. bucks. Come here. Well, 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 what do you guys want? Portrait, what do you think we want? Yeah, well, buy your tray. It's a portrait. All right, Jamboni, but I'll tell you right now, it's gonna cost you double. You know why? Why? On account of you're so ugly. <laughs> <laughs> what do you know about the shooting at the Regis? I heard something that might be connected. Yeah, like what? Chambon, please, don't move around, okay? Damani's got his goons all over town. They're offering $10,000 for this guy. What guy? TK, that's all they know about him. Yeah, that's what they know, what do you know? Chamboni, please, huh? I'm an artist, I'm trying to do some work here, okay? Yeah. They're offering 10 grand. Do you think I'd be doing this if I knew anything? Give me a break. <laughs> that's good, that's it, that's it. Yeah, can I take a look at this? It's like a photograph. It's so real, it's kind of eerie, you know what I'm saying? What? It's horrible. Use it for ID, Jambo. Grab it. Got a certain something. Thank nothing. you. Brian knows all right. Give me it. Give me, give me, you give me. Give me. Moved, it would have been better. That man has no talent whatsoever. And I just caught you. Nude portraits here. Nude portraits. Madam, what about it?
I'm in this job for another 26 years, I'll never get used to it. We got nothing to go on, and the computer narrows it down to 34 names. Yeah, 34 names. In the old days, it would have taken three men a week in records. Felony convictions with the initials TK, we tell it to narrow it down to male Caucasians, we give it an age range, we tell it to forget anyone doing current time. 20 minutes later, we got a list. You know, another 10 years, it'd be a computer go out and make the arrest for us. Well, it shouldn't take Miss Forensics too long to come up with a match on the prints now, huh? Did I hear Prince? Just give us the news, Jambone. Okay, TK is Ted Keating. He was kind enough to leave his thumbprint on the food trolley. There he is. And go pay him a visit. One step behind on this one. Well, at least we're on the trail. We should join up with the money. At least he doesn't have to wait for warrants. He's got a kid. Uh, unit 12, 7, 10, 21, your office. Uh, unit 12, 7, we are on our way. We're looking for the room service guy. The money finds him. We get a name and address on Keating. The money's been there already. Who gave him the name? That's what I'd like to know. What's going on? Now, how is this for development? Keating shows up at a place called Harry's. Demonstra's got a goon waiting for him. Then Keating wastes him with the Uzi and splits. Right. What does that give us? That gives us Harry. Steve is in there trying to question him now. Won't he talk? He can't talk. He was downing black Russians when we got there. God knows how many he had. In my whole life, or just tonight? Harry, it's okay, never mind. It comes to the thing thing, anyhow. <sighs> Harry, try to pay attention to me, okay? This is Detective O'Brien. This is Detective Jambone. They're gonna ask you a few questions, okay? You should have seen what they did to my place. That's the thanks I get for trying to be a good Sumerian. Sumerian? Excuse me, this is where I came in. All right. I'll tell you the whole thing right off the bat. Like I said to her, where'd she go? You were being a good Sumerian. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Well, it's no secret that Ted Keating is a friend of mine. Yeah, we kind of figured that. Mm, exactly. No secret at all. Well, my friend Ted Keating needed a place to lay low for a while. The mob was after him. Mm. Organized crime. No, that didn't scare me, no, sir. Harry Shaker never turns his back on it. Harry, just take okay. it easy there, then up there. Now, the shooting. I want you to tell me about the shooting. Oh, yeah, of course, the shooting. Well, this uh, guy comes in. I didn't know his name. But you recognized him? Never saw him in my life before. That's why I don't know his name. Maybe it'll come to me. Anyway, this guy puts a gun to my head, and he knows that Ted's gonna show up. How does he know? He just knows. And he wasn't wrong. Ted shows up, and they start shooting at each other, and they're shooting and shooting and shooting. Okay, okay, Harry, yeah, we already heard that. Well, then what happened? Ted won. Do you have any idea where he might be now? No. And if he did, I wouldn't tell you. Harry Shaker. Yeah, won. I know, Harry Shaker, right, right, we remember that one. Does he have a wife? Does he have a girlfriend? Come on. Wife. But they're separated, and he has a kid. Only she's sick in the hospital. What hospital? Harry, do you remember the name of the hospital? Uh, Saint? Come on. Saint? Yeah, yeah. Vincent. You're a prince, Harry. Thanks. I 
knew that doctor was mixed up in it somehow. Guys get anything? Later, Freddy. Colby, take care of Harry. See if he gets home safely. Where are you going? Come on, I'll fill you in on the way. So who's gonna fill me in? You have a patient named Keating, little girl? Yes, Cindy Keating. She's in room 305. Thank but you. I'm sorry, visiting hours were over. It is police business. She's a very sick girl, and she's scheduled for surgery first thing in the morning. Now, I don't know what this is all about, but you're going to have to talk to the doctor. Dr. Benton? Yes, mm. he said he didn't know Keating. I just need to ask her if she knows where her father is. I'm sorry, you can't do that. Please, I have to check with the doctor. Just give us a minute, okay? Okay, we'll do it another time. Dr. Roberts, Dr. Roberts, line 322. What are you thinking? Ben set it up? Hired Keaton to do the dirty work? Well, that might help explain why he was so lucky to be standing at the bar when the shooting started. Doesn't make that much sense. He ended up with a bullet in him anyway. Accidents happen. Wait a second. The other bullet, the low one, the one that nobody could have fired. It started very low and went down from there, remember? Yeah. Miss, come here for a second. Who was on duty the night uh, Dr. Benton got shot? I was. Good. Listen, they cut off his pants leg, right? Yes, sir. All that's being held for the police. Can you get that for me? Dr. Yes. Jacobson Thanks. To emergency. Fight me back any time, pal. <laughs> Come back tomorrow, you can take the rest of my life. shot himself. Wouldn't you? Room full of bodies and you're untouched, the finger points are right at you. Right, and even if we can't prove anything in court, Damani is going to figure it out. Come on, Ken. To do this one without your Tommy. visit you set up? What are you talking about? Damonte. He sent a guy after me tonight. How do you figure he knew where I was? He's a very powerful man, Keating. You don't You're think... damn right I don't. Nobody else knew where I was. You know, I'm kind of glad you're not operating on my daughter. Listen, if it's the money... It ain't the money. You're going to have expenses. Take care of the little girl. I got the money. I don't need it. I'll give you whatever you want. You ran all the risks. It's only fair. There's over a hundred. You're no good at bluffing, Doc. Maybe that's why you lose so much. <gasps> Anything comes out of there that don't look like money and you're gone. In fact, I don't think you got the money anymore. Why don't we take a look? Hold it! Drop it, Ben. He was gonna kill your partner. It's too late for that bluff, Ben. I said drop it. about lust and greed. And one
once in a while, one of the other deadly sins creeps into my column. It's not always pleasant reading, but the truth I'm aiming at is the fact that the worst passions we can imagine are wired into the structure of our brains. You accept that, or you forget about understanding the two-legged creatures who dominate our planet. I've never been able to understand the kind of obsession that drives a man to risk destruction on the turn of a card. Dr. Paul Benton's obsession led him to take bigger risks. He held healing at the tips of his fingers, but it wasn't enough. So he shuffled the cards and lost it long before he ever asked a man to steal for him. Long before he ever heard of Ted Keating. winners and there are losers but every now and again a game comes along where no one wins and I feel the love.